On November 6th, OpenAI had its first developer conference called OpenAI Dev Day. During this conference, they launched this amazing new custom method of creating your own version of ChatGPT called GPTs. You can basically create versions of ChatGPT that combines instructions, extra knowledge, and any combinations of skills. This lets you customize ChatGPT for a specific purpose. Just take a look at this example where there's multiple different GPTs being created with ChatGPT, whether that's helping you with math, different specific needs, whether that's cooking and such forward. Just take a look at Sam Altman creating his own GPT model. So to start, GPT Builder asks me what I want to make. And I'm gonna say, I want to help startup founders think through their business ideas and get advice. After the founder has gotten some advice, uh, grill them on why they are not growing faster. <laughs> and we can see from that single prompt, it's able to process it through the GPT Builder, and then the GPT Builder starts updating. It starts collecting more information, and it, as it retrieves different types of context that is needed, and then it creates by creates the actual GPT by starting off with the picture. As we go forward, it then adds different Style. specifications to help create that startup like builder or that mentor GPT in that case. And we can see over here, you're able to configure it a little bit better and by I like renaming it. You also have the ability to add a description, give it specific uh, instructions as to how it should respond, what type of capabilities it has, such as web browsing, you have Dolly E image generation, you have a code interpreter, which helps you create Python library uh, code, uh, helps you assist with Python library code, sorry. And then you're able to also add different actions in which you can upload different files so that it has relevance to the data that you provide it. Now, this is something that you can definitely do within this new GPT builder that ChatGPT has just recently released. But what if I am to tell you that there is an open source effort to create a similar experience as OpenAI's GPT builder? This builds upon Langchain, LangServe, as well as LangSmith, and it gives you more control over the LM you use. You're basically able to choose between 60 plus that LangChain offers, as well as the different prompts that are offered through LangSmith so that you are able to debug those, as well as the tools that you are given from LangChain's 100 different plus tool libraries. This allows you to create your own GPT for free, and it's something that is way more appealing in my opinion at this current moment as you're not able to access the builder from ChatGPT as of yet but this is an easy solution for you to use an open source method for creating your own GPTs fairly easily in a similar method that GPT builder does and this is where I introduce open GPTs this is an amazing new project that is going to be trying to replicate a similar experience to OpenAI's GPT Builder. And this is something that I'll showcase throughout today's video as we'll go in more in depth as to how you can build your own GPTs with this method, as well as taking a look at how you can get started and downloading it. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. We actually have a steady growing community on the Patreon private discord. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this because there's so much value being dropped over here in terms of AI subscriptions being given to you, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more. We're just evolving in the world of AI. So if you're interested in all that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Give World of AI on Twitter a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where I can offer my consulting services to you guys, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at open GPTs. Now, this was something that was popping up a lot after the dev day and it's something that i wanted to really showcase because on this channel i really like putting spotlight on open source projects i know the gpt builder is an amazing tool that is definitely better than this obviously but this is a great solution like alternative for using open ai's gpt builder this is a way that replicates the exact same things as the GPT Builder does, but this is something that is free and it's something that you can access right now. 
Now, before we get into actually taking a look at the GPT Builder, we're gonna take a look at some of the features. Firstly, one of the most standout features for me is the sandbox environment, which allows you to import, test, and modify existing chatbots. Now, these chatbots are code-based, which makes it so much more uh, like editable. There's the second feature, which is the custom actions, which defines additional functionality of your chatbot using open API specifications. This is something that could be extended by adding tools to enhance your chatbot's capability. Now, from the demo day for OpenAI's GPT Builder, we saw that they had a knowledge file feature. This is something that allows you to attach different files so that the chatbot can have reference or context to a knowledge base. In this case, this is something that will be coming soon with OpenGPT, but it's something to keep in mind. You have different tools that are provided, which provides basic tools for web browsing, image creation, as well as the different multimodal features that are associated with OpenAI GPT Builder. You have analytics, which allows you to analyze chatbots data usage, as well as Langsmith serving as a tool for this purpose. Now there's drafts, which lets you save and share different drafts of chatbots you created or the different GPTs that you have basically constructed with open GPTs. You're allowed to publish it, share it, as well as incorporate it within a marketplace, which is something that they're going to be deploying, which lets you utilize different open GPTs with their marketplace. Now, this is something that is basically creating a different ecosystem, but on the open source field, which is absolutely amazing. Huge props to these contributors. Definitely love this. And it's something that we'll take a look at in the next step of the video, where I showcase how you can create your own GPT. Now, there's two ways to access this. You can use the simple hosted version, which is a cloud hosting, and it's something that you can run right away off this link, which I'll leave in the description below. But you're also able to install it locally. In this case, you need to start off by creating the backend. You need to install the requirements. First things first, go into the backend folder once you have cloned this repository, install the requirements import your different environments that are needed in this case you can utilize the open api key they also have different lms that you can use such as the gpt 3.5 turbo you have azure open ai as well as cloud 2. they're working on adding different lms such as open source ones so keep that in mind and that's something that they'll be able to do as they further evolve this open gpt project there's different tools as well that you can incorporate within these two different default tool sets uh, that's one thing that you can customize with this project, which is also really, really convenient. In this case, once you have set your API keys, you need to set up Langsmith. Now this is optional, but it will help with debugging, logging, and monitoring. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely input the different API keys associated with Langchain. Once you have done that, you can start up the backend server by putting this into your uh, command prompt. You can then start up the front end. You are able to do it off of this way, or you're also able to deploy it through the front end commands that are stated over here. This allows you to host it and deploy it off Google Cloud. And that's basically how you should be able to start this up locally. And in this case, we're gonna be showcasing how you can run this application. So let's get started. What you wanna do is click on new bots. You can start off by naming it whatever you want. In this case, you're not able to select many other tools. You're able to only select the DuckDuckGo, which is a search engine which helps you search for words, documents, images, videos, news, maps, text translations, as well as other different things that will be needed for you to source different types of data. This is a way for you to utilize the same type of multimodal features that OpenAI has released with its GPT Builder. So we can just have it selected as this. Uh, in the other case where you want to use different types of features, you need to customize it on the local base. This is something that will require you to install it, but currently you're only able to utilize the toolset of the DuckDuckGo search engine for the OpenGPT cloud version. So we can then move forward by naming our bot. So in this case, I made a personal chef assistant, which I gave a system message stating that you're a helpful chef who will assist me with recipes and cooking needs. I'm going to click save and then I'm going to start chatting with this. I'm going to ask it, how can I make a bean burger? And after a couple seconds, we get this output where the AI states that to make a bean burger, you will need the following ingredients and it gives you a step-by-step -step instruction as to how you can create this. So in this case, 
Uh, say for example, uh, I don't want to have cumin in this or find me a recipe that doesn't have garlic. And I put this input and it's going to then rewrite it hopefully so that it doesn't have any garlic. And just like that, it gave me a new recipe that doesn't have garlic, which is absolutely awesome. Now this is something that could be exported. You can have it so that it can help you with various different tasks. Now this is something that is completely open source and it's something that I recommend that you start trying out and playing with it off your local host. This is just a demo that I wanted to showcase off the cloud. It's way more customizable on the actual local desktop. So if you're interested in this, definitely deploy it by building the front end as well as the back end so that you can start playing around and customizing with different LMs as well as with different toolkits. Definitely play around with this and let me know what you're able to create by tagging me on Twitter. I can definitely repost it and showcase it to other people across Twitter. So with that thought guys, I hope you found this video to be quite helpful and you got some sort of knowledge out of it. It really means a lot if you guys can go like this video, subscribe, turn notification bell, and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. Definitely check out the Patreon page if you guys haven't already, if you want to join our private Discord, and definitely give World of AI on Twitter a follow. With that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching, have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.